inside movement in harmony is super useful and you can use it when comping and sometimes when soloing as well. It's basically a notation movement inside of a chord, not in the top note and not in the bottom note, somewhere in the middle. This is a really simple concept that can get you started. First of all, you gotta get good at playing all the degrees in a major key for seven chords. So if we're in C, then the first degree is a major seven. The second degree is a minor seven. The third degree is a minor seven. The fourth degree is a major seven. The fifth degree is a dominant seven. The sixth degree is a minor seven. The seventh degree is a half diminished. And then back to the one. The first movement I would work on is taking the seventh of every chord and moving it to the sixth. So if we're playing C major seven, we got the one, the five, the seven, and the three. We take the seven and we move it to the six, which is a whole step down, so. While trying to keep all the rest of the notes ringing. And then for everything that is a minor seven, like the second degree, you locate the seven, one, five, seven, three, so seven, and that's gonna be a half step to the six, to the natural six, which is B, B natural. It's in the key of C. So you play D minor seven, from seven to the six. So from the top. And then I'm gonna play E minor seven with the same position. Look how I'm, I'm sneaking the index finger there. So I can take it down to the flat six, which is C natural. So that's the third degree, so. And then the fourth degree is a major seven. So it's gonna look just like the C. Three, four, and then the five is a seven chord, dominant seven. So it has a flat seven. The six is gonna be the E note, which is a half step below. Okay, and then the sixth degree, minor seven, it has a flat seven, but then the sixth note for the A minor seven in that key is F natural, which is a whole step from the seven. So it's gonna look like the E minor seven. That's the sixth degree. Seventh degree, B minor seven flat five. There it is. And then this is the flat seven down to the G note, which is in the key of C. And that's the movement for the seventh degree. And then back to the one. And then I'm starting to play with it. I'm thinking about the G string and I'm playing melodies. I'm going up and down. So that was a hint for what you can do next, which is adding chromatics. If you have a whole step between the seven and the six, which is like the first degree, there's a whole step between B and A. So you can play a chromatic movement, so. And then between uh, the seven on the D minor, it's just a half step, so. You can add another chromatic, and then. You can do it here, and you can do it here. And then here you cannot. It's just a half step. And then here you can. And then here you can as well. And then again.
Okay, that was it for this one. It's not easy, take your time with it, and let me know what you think in the comments, and ask me anything you want, I reply to everything. I appreciate you guys watching the video, I'll definitely see you on the next one.